Hey, what's up? This is Ben Limpic, hanging out with Nick Bianco at Good Grief Media. Uh, you're about to see my new video for Love Don't Want Me off my new record, Isabel, out June 12th. Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well. I want to make a quick review video of the new Ben Limpic music video, Love Don't Want Me. This guy's been on my radar for quite a while now. Um, he's a singer-songwriter, sort of folky artist coming from San Diego, California, and he just brings a new level to things, I think. He's not sounding like a lot of other singer-songwriters that you're hearing come out um, in this day and age. So before I get started on the actual review itself, I'm able to give you guys a quick sneak peek at what the music video is going to look like. Just a quick snippet. The whole music video is going to be released on July 3rd, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. His name is Ben Limpick, and this is the music video Love Don't Want Me. <laughs> Doesn't cover quite enough When your soul peeks through When the light's on you No vacation, right? Yeah, doesn't quite know me Alright, I hope you guys liked that. Once again, that was Ben Limpic's Love Don't Want Me. The full music video is going to be out on July 3rd, and then his EP with Love Don't Want Me on it is going to be coming out this Friday, so please, please, please make sure to check that out. I've seen the full music video, and it's more of what you're getting in the snippet that I showed you. It's really, really great stuff, and I cannot recommend it enough, so please make sure to check that out. Without further ado, let's get into the nuts and bolts of the actual music video here. First off, one of the biggest things that I noticed, and obviously it's it's the most apparent thing, is the kaleidoscope effect and sort of the vivid colors. There's a lot of um, psychedelic themes that, that came across pretty immediately, and that's the whole music video. Um, I really liked this, and I thought that initially, the first time I saw it, it was a little bit jarring, to be honest, between you know seeing the, the conflict between having the singer-songwriter sound and also going for more of a psychedelic look, a very trippy visual style with something as relaxed and subdued as like a singer-songwriter or folky um, sound. I think that that is really one of the few things that makes Ben Limpic's music and just his overall style of whether, again, it's like the music videos or just who he is, it brings a new flavor to things. It brings something that we haven't really seen before. And, I mean, even if we're talking about the song itself, the song itself is absolutely beautiful. I love the song. Once again, at first, I did think that the lyrics were a little bit on the nose, just when he's talking about, um, there, there's certain lines where he's talking about, you know, going to the liquor store, being drunk, and it's obviously the song is about sorrow and not feeling loved or wanted, which I think we can all... Um, you know, not agree with, but we can all sort of, we can, we've been there. And so it's definitely an understandable emotion. And so, like I'd said, at first, I, I found some of the lyrics to be a little bit on the nose. But as time went on, and I'd heard it a few times, I think that what it really does is it's sort of it, it the way that the lyrics are delivered, it takes a snapshot of 
these darker moments that we don't necessarily look back on with great fondness or even want to look back on at all, to be honest, because obviously it's a dark time. We don't really want to be remembering and, and um, meditating on these negative emotions. And so I think with, with some of the lyrics that he's doing, it, 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 do, it takes those, those snapshots. It takes the snapshots of us being in a dark place. And I think it makes to a point where it's a lot more um, accessible for other people. It's not, you know, tying these emotions behind a very thick layer of metaphors and symbolism. It's really just, it, it's kind of like putting your heart out on a platter and just saying, this is where I'm at. And I will applaud any day of the week, any artist that is able to have that kind of vulnerability with his listeners or just even being able to release music like that, things that they, they allow themselves to be so open hearted. And this is where I'm at. And once again, not hiding it behind different layers of metaphors and, you know, well, this kind of means this, and this was a symbol for this and whatnot. It, it takes a lot of courage to be able to tell you tell the emotions that you're going through and share the emotions that you're going through like a story. And like I'd said, it for me, it, it took snapshots. And I mean, again, we've all been in these dark places. So when he starts to say some of these lyrics talking about being in this dark place, but making it really humanizing, I think it allows the listener to maybe think back to a time when they were in that place, or maybe like a very distinct moment or a memory when they were in that place. Or you know, even if they don't have a moment like that that they can directly cor correlate the lyric to, they can at the very least connect a very like distinct visual element to what he is going through and what he's talking about and sort of like the feelings that he is he's going through in this song. I think that that's really, really, really something that should be applauded in this. I know that I was talking about more about the music than the actual music video, and that kind of ties into the whole thing as well, where once again, you do have this somber, darker, more emotional, overall sad tone, I guess, and especially with the lyrics, um, you wouldn't expect to see visuals like you do in this, which once again, it just makes it so almost co like contradictory in a sense, but there's also a level of hopefulness, I think, that comes across it. It is this kaleidoscope effect, the whole music video, so it is, it's not it's not beating you over the head with certain themes. It's very up to interpretation, which I think is interesting because usually it's the other way around where it's like the music itself is the one that's hiding behind numerous layers of symbolism. And there's a bunch of different ways that you can interpret it. And then the music video for it or the visual elements for it are a lot more on the nose. It could be a song that's kind of about breakups or whatever it is, but then the music video is just a couple breaking up. This kind of flips that on its head by giving us lyrics that are very literal and allows the listener to connect to them so deeply while showing a music video that maybe is up to interpretation once again because it's there's a lot of different ways that you can take it and i think that you know it it there's a level of like hopefulness to it with all of the bright colors there's a level of sort of getting lost not getting lost but getting sort of approaching like a more heady loose space and being sort of welcomed into that it's not such an abrupt change of you know this is what you're going to be going through blah blah blah. everything sort of fades into one another and it makes it a very very comfortable visual element with especially you know connected to a song that while is relaxing it is a little bit darker but um i do think that the mixture of the song and the music video actually do mix very well together in a way that no one would really expect. This is not your bottom of the barrel, lowest common denominator music video song combination. It's very much sort of out of left field, something that is completely out of the ordinary. And I think hopefully we'll get a lot of attention. Hopefully you guys are watching this right now. And at least what you saw out of the, the snippet of the music video like that you saw because his music video for this song love don't want me is going to be coming out july 3rd and then his ep will be coming out on friday so please make sure to check both those out love don't want me will be on the ep and then um yes you guys let me know what you think make sure to go follow ben limpic on instagram and social media i will tag those right there and yes so awesome thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this man's music as much as i did because i know that i'm going to be a big fan of this man from here on out um thank you guys